time is now 614. This morning, we're learning more about the summer's popular vacation destinations. July is a great month to take a family vacation. Whether it's a long weekend or a week-long excursion, there are ways to have fun without spending a whole lot of money. WDBJ 7's Nadine Mazur is live at AAA's Travel Center this morning in Roanoke. So, Nadine, I know you and I are beach people, but what seems to be popular vacation spots this summer? Well, Kimberly, there's a lot of places in Virginia and even surrounding areas that people can drive to. It all depends on how big your family is, what you're willing to spend. And I'm joined by Beth Farmer right now. And Beth, you just got back from Tennessee. Um, talk to me about how long a trip that was. And, you know, it's a, it's a doable trip in a couple of days. Oh, absolutely. I took a three-day trip, went down to Cherokee, North Carolina, did the Indian reservation things, and then went into Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area. Um, came back. It's only about a four-hour drive, so it's definitely doable. Right. So some people want to do the bigger trips, the all-inclusive, the cruises. Talk to me about what people need to know if they want to take a trip like that. Okay, absolutely. We have plenty of cruise ports within driving distance. We have Norfolk, Charleston, and Baltimore. You can go to Mexico, New England, um, all kinds of places, Bahamas, anywhere you really want to go. So uh, you can do those pretty easily since you can drive. Or if you want to fly to Florida, it opens up your options as well as far as length of cruises and so forth. Right. And you said some people will obviously tailor their trips if they have small children or older teenagers. Talk to me about options that they have. We we're talking Carnival does like a lot of the kid camp stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. Carnival and Royal both do kid camps. Um, so it's nice for the parents to have some time with just themselves and while the kids are occupied in camp and the kids you have more fun. My son loves to go on cruises because mm -hmm. um, he gets to play with the kids. Right. But we get our family time in as well. Um, and then we have all-inclusives, which are great for families because you don't have to worry about where you're going to eat, if this one likes this kind of food and that one likes <laughs> that kind of food. It's all available right there for you. Right, right. Um, and those are Punta Cana, Cancun, places that everybody really wants to go, the hot spots. Yeah, I want to go right now. Right. Let's, let's pack our bags. Let's pack our bags and go. Um, and Beth, you were saying travel insurance is a good thing to have and coming up in the next segment, we're going to talk about why it's so important and why spending that money up front, Kimberly, it could pay off in the long run. To stay dreaming about cruising. <laughs> it's always a fun trip. I want to go now. Yeah, it's me Friday. too. <laughs> me too.